Hey guys, Gibbo here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I did my dark web photo of Spider-Man. Let's jump right in. So guys, looking at this shot, I can honestly say this is one of my favorite toy photos I've taken. Specifically because I left Spider-Man out on my deck above this light for three weeks. And this webbing that you see here is all authentic spider webs that was created over three weeks. So let's jump in and see how I created this shot. So I'm going to go into Lightroom, and as I said, this was a three-week process. So if I go back to the very first shots, it was a different layout, but I actually got shots here of the spider actually making a web on Spidey's hands. I took over probably 400 pictures of the process. You can see just tons and tons of photos, different angles and everything. You can see here at this angle, the spider is actually making a web, but I wasn't happy with the angle. So I eventually ended on these five shots. I shot this at night using my Hasbro 12-inch Spider-Man action figure. I shot it at night because I wanted to use a long shutter speed. Long shutter speeds give you the option to actually paint with light. So your shutter speed is 10 seconds or so. Let's see how long this photo was taken for. If you look up here, okay, 3.2 seconds. So at 3.2 seconds, I was using a loom cube. I can drag light while the camera is taking the photo and it will illuminate areas. So with that, I've got 3.2 seconds of time to actually drag light with my loom cube around my action figure. So you can see I started probably up here, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So I've got three seconds of light. I've obviously got a cardboard here to block out the light so it's not flaring into the camera. And these are the six shots I took. Just one light down. I've turned off the actual main bulb so I'm getting just natural light from the loom cube. And then the final shot here is literally lighting, bouncing light off the wall to get a little bit of highlights on the back of his legs. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how I combined these shots. So right here we have the original image here. This is basically being illuminated just by the lamp that's on. I haven't adjusted this in Lightroom or anything. This is straight out of camera. So I've brought this into Photoshop and I've added the second layer. So obviously there's a lot of highlights that I wanted to use that are not being shown in the base layer but I'm not going to use the whole base layer, so I create a layer mask. So all I've got the layer mask showing now is the highlights going around his back, over his shoulders, and over his head. If I turn that layer on and off, you can see the areas that I just wanted to use from this layer. Using a layer mask, I can highlight just the areas I want to use. Going to the next layer, I obviously want to highlight all this lovely, luminous webbing that's been created by the spiders. So what I do with a layer mask is I hide all the areas I don't want to see, and I show the areas that I do want to see. So that layer there is specifically to show the webbing that's coming down from the roof and attaching to the back of Spider-Man. As you can see, it's phenomenal that after three weeks a spider or multiple spiders made this concoction of webbing. Going to the next layer, you can see there's going to be a lot more light happening around his right ankle over here and on the back of the light fixture. I don't want to see all the layer again, another layer mask. So we turn that on, and if I turn on and off, you can see where I used it. Oh, so obviously the bottom layer, if I turn it off the bottom layer, the web here was quite blown out. So the second layer above was specifically to bring the webbing back in. So when I shot that photo, it wasn't as overexposed, so you can see more of the webbing. Going to the next layer, so this is a dark layer. I want to bring some of the dark areas back using this photo. So if I bring the layer mask on and you can see where I've added it. You can see I've just brought some of the darkness back on his neck, some on his bicep. It just helps create a little bit more depth. You can see here on his leg and here on his forearm. So the last layer I bring in now is one that's got the loom cube that I'm using directly from above and I've adjusted this in Lightroom, made it a little bit more contrasty, a little bit more punchy. But if I turn on my layer mask to see what areas I used, again I'm using more of the darks here on the shoulder, the shoulder blade there, here on the inside of his left arm, I'm creating some more darkness. And I'm also liking that flare that was there in the original shot. So those are my layer structures now. Then from a previous photo, I just wanted to add a spider onto Spider-Man's arm there. So I've literally got a spider from one of the previous photos and I've dropped him on the arm like that. This layer now, I like the webbing that was created from another angle that a spider had made. So all I'm going to use is the webbing and make it attach onto his hand. So it looks like Spidey has shot that webbing from his hand. So that's what that layer is for. So with this layer now, I've created a 50% gray layer and I've converted the blend mode to overlay. And then I've used a dodged and burn technique to lift the highlights by dodging and making the dark areas darker by burning. You can see if I turn it on and off, I've just lifted some highlights here in the webbing just to make it stand out a little bit more. And at the top here, I've just made the webbing at the top of the image here a little bit more bolder. 
we zoom out now I've made a blue curves adjustment layer and I wanted to just make this blue light that was coming down I wanted to give it an overall look that it was pumping blue light into the scene from the top so I've added a blue curves adjustment layer I've added a layer mask and then I've literally painted away the area where I don't want the layer mask to affect so the blue area is just affecting here at the top of the screen and at the bottom I've added a yellow curves adjustment layer so if I turn off the layer mask you can see that I've highlighted the yellow area here on the picture turn it on and then I've literally hidden the rest of the area where I don't want the layer mask to show so I'm just illuminating more yellow on the light bulb finally I've just created a lens flare effect just to give a little more streaks coming down from the light from above you can see that there and that's how I did my dark web shot of spider-man all naturally shot with spider webs that took three weeks to do guys I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to show if you head over to my website you can select any of my photos that I've done in the past have a look if there's anything you'd like me to explain on how I shot it let me know in the comments below but that's how I did my dark web series of spider-man we'll see you in the next video